with Steve Majores here. He's the chief marketing officer for um, Chevrolet, and I uh, got a great opportunity. We already talked to the chief engineer. Mm -hmm. We already talked to the tech guy who explained the whole thing about the, all the technology that is in the car. But now, with you, it's very interesting to see how to market this car because this, this car has pretty much uh, something to offer to everyone, right? Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, we, we talk a lot about the most connected car on the road, and we really feel that the cruise uh, delivers in that regard. Um, you know, it's little things like wireless charging, uh, 4G LTE, something that no one else in the segment has, 8-inch uh, touchscreen, the, the, the MyLink system, and features that people really love now, which make connecting so much easier yeah. with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So especially the hotspot aspect of it, because I mean, obviously, all the manufacturers have nav systems and big screens and all that. With the Wi-Fi connectivity, the capability of that, along with the uh, OnStar and all that, that really makes a huge, huge difference. And uh, now with this year, I, I believe you're offering like, like a really cool package, like yeah. 24 uh, Promise. Or what's 20, yeah, we'll talk about that. But first, to the Wi-Fi. So it is. It's something segment exclusive. It's something that really is across more Chevrolet and General Motors products than anyone else in the industry. We're clearly leading in that space. So it is a signal that is considerably more powerful than your smartphone. It allows you to connect up to seven devices. So yeah. you and I could both have a phone, a tablet, we could have backseat passengers, and everyone could be connected. Uh, it's a secure uh, password-enabled Wi-Fi network, so no one can uh, you know, jump onto your Wi-Fi network and use your data. It can actually be used up to 50 feet outside of the car. So if you were in a stationary park situation and you were outside the vehicle, you can still use the Wi-Fi. So it's just an incredible feature that you can don't have to use up your phone's data plan. Let's say you're out in a more remote area where cell service uh, signal might not be as strong. Uh, you would certainly get that with the, with the car's Wi-Fi. What we're doing for crews, uh, we have a, a new program that comes with every LT trim and above. So LT and Premier, we call it the 24-7 promise. Um, what that means is, you know, we talk a lot about the cruise customer, and that cruise customer, you know, it really likes to, this notion of hustle and hard work yeah. and finding their own way and finding their own path. And so when you use that term 24-7, it's kind of a nice handle for someone who's constantly working and constantly striving. And so what we've done is we've taken some of the benefits of the car and bundled them together into the 24-7 promise, which is we're going to give people 24 uh, gigs of data for up to 24 months, so whichever comes first. So we, we give today every Chevrolet uh, vehicle that comes with Wi-Fi a three gig trial package, yeah. which is a nice package, but imagine well, getting- can go 20, fast. <laughs> you can, yeah, so imagine giving people 24 gigs. We're gonna also give them 24 months of Sirius XM radio, which is another outlet for people to do, you know, more of a streaming or music service uh, yeah. that's not traditional terrestrial radio. Uh, 24 months of OnStar uh, guidance plan. Um, in addition to things that we offer, like the Remote Link app, so things that allow you to unlock, lock your phone, remote start, check your tire pressure, all the things that the Remote Link app does, and then courtesy transportation, roadside assistance, and uh, maintenance visits. So it's really a comprehensive package that keeps our connected, on the go customer connected and on the go. That's pretty amazing because uh, until let's say what like five years ago or even less people just thought of the car just like to a transportation medium yeah. now with the Wi-Fi what you were explaining that you can go and like connect seven devices and then like have it like 50 feet around the car you probably taking up your living room your office <laughs> office well, space yeah. or anything with you anywhere that you go you yeah. can work you can enjoy entertainment I mean like many things that you can do with the car now well, you know, we, we use an expression, we said people like to bring their digital life into their car, yeah. and they like to bring the car into their digital life. Um, you're right. Years ago, especially in a, in a segment like compact cars yeah. or mid cars, we, we call them refrigerators or appliances. They were great at getting you from point A to point B, and people really didn't expect that much. But I think when you think about millennials and younger generations, and really that attitude has, has cascaded to more traditional older buyers who yeah. have the same sense of, of connectivity and reliance on what their mobile device allows them to do. So uh, bringing these technologies into the vehicle, I think, is, is almost an expectation that people have. And I think Chevrolet's leading the pack when it comes to bringing these technologies to market. And all these uh, changes in the, 
in the segment or the whole auto industry actually it's also a challenge in terms of how to communicate with people I think and your advertising campaigns have been very successful in doing that right yeah I mean we have um, really wanted to make sure that we could connect with people not just at the what I'll call the Chevrolet brand level but an individual nameplate think about think about these segments I, I think in the compact car there are 15, 16 yeah. entries, yeah. you know, same thing with mid-sized cars. And great, great offerings by you. Yeah. The competition right. is like really, the level of that competition is really Absol high. Absolutely. And so, you know, you have to make sure that people feel good about the, the parent brand, in this, in, in this case Chevrolet yeah. they're doing business with, as well as the individual model they happen to be considering or purchasing. And so a lot of our marketing is to get people just to think a little bit differently and say, you know what, hey, Chevrolet's, they're a pretty good brand. They're doing yeah. some good things. They're, they've got great styling. They've got great design. They've got a great dealer network. They are bringing technologies to the marketplace that I really want and, and, I, and I expect from a company. And then once they feel good about Chevrolet, then when it's time for them to consider the segment of interest, they may be looking for a crossover or a compact car or a, you know, a utility vehicle or a truck. If they feel good about Chevrolet, then they'll seek out the entry or the variant that, that meets their particular functional needs. So the image of the company has obviously changed in the recent years, starting with the dealerships, which is the most visual thing that connects uh, people with, with the brand, but also all these uh, messaging and other thing. But the, I mean, the important thing to me, I mean, or the most surprising thing is like, people still see these things and, and the car, the company might be great, the uh, car looks great, but when they see that it can do so much, that's a huge surprise for a lot of people still. Yeah, well, we, we, we like to think of our, our campaign as we call it shattering perceptions because sometimes people don't know what to think about a brand or their perceptions of the brand are maybe a little outdated. Yeah. The average age of a vehicle on the road today is what, 10, 11 years? Yeah, yeah. So imagine someone in an 11-year-old vehicle that is still getting them from point A to point B, but they haven't experienced 8-inch touch screens, they haven't experienced OnStar, they haven't experienced great safety features like lane keep assist or rear vision cameras and rear cross traffic alert. So when you get people to just say, oh my gosh, I had no idea yeah. the technology that's packed into these vehicles and the value that you get for that, and really trying to associate Chevrolet with that. Chevrolet, we're very proud of. Um, we have a great image in trucks. We have a great image in crossovers. We have a great image in, in, in performance cars. We're really making headway in the electric vehicle space. And in the car space, candidly, we're pretty good. But yeah. we could be better. And I think it's we suffer a little bit from some of those maybe outdated perceptions. And so if we can get people thinking that Chevrolet is the brand that's really revolutionizing and, and bringing all this great technology across the portfolio, I think that's one of the critical differences. You know, some manufacturers will have 4G in one model or one yeah. particular trim, or some will have the certain feature but only in a certain in, in a certain model. We've got 4G pretty much across the lineup. We've got OnStar across the lineup. We've got safety technologies across the lineup. And so it's important for us to get people thinking bigger about Chevrolet because we're bringing all these technologies across all of our segments. Yeah. And talking about perception, I think the Malibu, the new Malibu, is a great example of that because until the previous generation or maybe two generations ago it was considered like a fleet car like a, just like mm -hmm. as you were saying an appliance like but now the new one I mean it looks so nice the design I mean I can really believe if someone tells me I just like it right I mean it looks great I just gonna buy it because I like it that's completely changing the, the image of that car absolutely you know our our styling group led by John Cafaro and, and the Chevy design team is really making leaps and bounds when it comes to just making dramatic visual exterior and interior statements about what design can be you know we like to use the expression great design doesn't cost anymore yeah. right i mean if you if you've got great designers uh then let's let's put them to work and that's exactly what we do and so um again people want a car look they, they have a fundamental need it's got to be reliable it's got to get them to their work or their home or take care of their family their job what have you but they want more and they want, again, the technologies, but if you can wrap it in a beautifully well-styled car, and a lot of our styling is not just styling for design sake, it's it's efficient styling. So, function, yeah, form and function. Exactly, yeah. braked windshields, much lower profile, significant light weighting, longer, leaner, lower riding cars that all contribute to you know, greater fuel efficiency, greater handling, wheels that are pushed forward and out to the corners. These are all things that make a car look better uh, and make
did perform better. And then speaking of that, I mean, we're like now here, we're going at 60 miles an hour. Quiet, I mean, mm -hmm. like so quiet. And then this interior, I mean, talking about like image and design, I'm like, look at this, this is a beautiful interior. Well, I mean, just you think about, you know, gone are the days of a big slab, you know, yeah. instrument panel, seating that with, with leather that pills or buckles and, and cheap fabrics, you know, soft touch materials, uh, beautiful accent stitching, uh, the, the nice use of just little details like the chrome openings around HVAC and things, ambient lighting at nighttime, uh, little touches that I think people just um, appreciate. They might not buy it for that reason, but when they live with it and they experience it, they just feel good about being in, uh, behind the wheel of a Chevrolet. Excellent. I mean, there's so much to talk about. Oh. And, uh, so, great example. And this car, uh, it's very successful all around the world, right? Yeah, Cruise is one of, uh, one of our core global uh, products for us. Uh, we're very proud that uh, with the new, the new generation Cruise, which we're in here right now, uh, we'll be first introduced in the United States, but it will roll out to about 75 countries across the world. And again, that's one of the, the, the powerful things about Chevrolet and General Motors is, you know, we talk a lot about being the advantage of being a global brand. So we're able to leverage the engineering and design resources of studios in, in Korea and Australia and Europe and United States and so there's a lot happening across the globe if you look at the Chevrolet portfolio today in the US one of our showroom um, five six years ago we wouldn't have had a Sonic or yeah. a Spark, a Spark yeah. we wouldn't have had uh, Trax these are all products that are, are really the genesis of more globally sourced product portfolio planning and we're able to bring them to the United States just as we're able to take cars like Cruise or Malibu or Impala, which are maybe let's call them more US based Corvette. <laughs> and, and Corvette and Camaro and put them out in other markets. And yeah. so uh, there's a real benefit to, um, to, to being a true global uh, entity that can design and engineer and manufacture uh, across the globe. Well, uh, we're gonna, that's great. We're gonna keep enjoying here uh, the, the hills of uh, around Nashville, Tennessee. So thank you very much for the opportunity. Always. To, Great right. to talk to you. Nice to talk to you too. And uh, congratulations. Thank you.